Hey, my name is Marco. I'm a former pro opera singer turned voice actor. Today we're going to be listening to We the Wounded Shall Advance Into the Light from the Xenogears Revival OST. What's funny about music is that words mean a lot, but when we add music, it's almost like the words come off the page and they become an emotion. And I think that words plus music can really elevate our existence and make us feel a real profundity and make us feel real. Expressing emotion through music is a beautiful thing that we are able to do. And video game music is no different in how important it is to allow us a, a vehicle to express ourselves. So let's listen to this. This is from a video game. There was a period of two years in my life where I was in very many church choirs because it was a good way to keep singing when I was leaving the business. And it allowed me also to make some money. But beyond that, it was a place where I wanted to have the purity of music back. For a really long time, I was sort of against music and against opera. Going to those church choirs and offering a service to people where music was kind of a focal point and an important and potent part of reflection for a lot of people. Hearing this and knowing that it has come from a game makes me really happy. Video games can be healing messengers for so many people and it's absolutely beautiful when we hear a traditional four-part harmony coming from a video game. Something that has been looked down upon for years as being too niche or being not important or not a real vehicle for for art and for culture and when you listen to something like this i have to beg to differ so beautiful <laughs> I mean, do you hear how beautiful and how how subtle and how delicious winds arise? It's the difference between saying winds arise, winds arise, and saying winds arise. That step down is powerful. It's not a crazy movement. It's a step, maybe a third. I don't know off the top of my head. I have never seen the sheet music, but it's amazing how these little things, or even the crunches between the two, the two inner voices. There's a bit of crunch in there. Um, usually, inner voices are the ones that have the harmony, while the soprano and choral music has the melody, and the bass is supporting the other voices. There's so much coloring of text, and when we color text. We create emotion around text. Because anybody can do, arise. That's nice. But it's another thing when you go, arise. There's little techniques that musicians and singers and performers are able to pull from to make this all feel more powerful and deeper and more profound.
did you hear that? Shall advance into the light. Oh, it's so beautiful. Shall advance to the passage of time. And you have all four voices doing their own thing. I mean, this is ravishing. This is just so pure. And I love that there's no vibrato. It's all very centered on the pitch. Pitch, when we do, we can derail pitch so easily in choir music. So the, the idea that everything is so hyper focused and everything is pitch by pitch by pitch. This takes months to rehearse. It gives us this exquisite, almost angelic sound, which I think really hits us to the core when we A, listen to the lyrics, and B, listen to how the melody works and how these moving parts are all coalescing into one. And you can really listen to each individual voice. And each individual voice is beautiful in its own way, but the four of them together, combined, make a beautiful synergistic piece. It's like watching the Power Rangers individually with their own whatever, Mastodon, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus, and then they merge into a Megazord and you have this synergy. I can't believe I just made that reference in a music channel, but there you go. It's palpable when it all comes together. <laughs> choral music is that it tends to subvert expectations and again that's like my favorite thing to say on this channel but like even that last section we all land together and everything even though that one solo voice sticks out there and you don't think it's going to make sense because there's like it's not really in sync with the other voices in terms of movement and step stepwise motion and and where we're headed all of a sudden at the end you have like this it feels like a warm embrace of music and of tone. Four part harmony writing is very difficult and you have to consider that each voice needs to stand on its own. But like I said earlier, when it's paired with all the other voices, it's a transformative listening experience. You know, we really don't hear that much choir these days, except in religious instances and from my experience. Choral work is, is beautiful. And it's, and it's just oftentimes quite peaceful. In this case, this f sounds like a hymn. It sounds like a fervent prayer. And it sounds like it's a lot about love and about, about being together and advancing together into the light. It's really beautiful. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time here. Lots and lots and lots of game music that I've covered on this channel that I think you may appreciate. If you want to support the channel, check out the link in the about section for the Patreon. And as always, thanks. If you want to join the Discord, feel free. And as always, thanks a ton. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.